Hello YouTube, I'm back. Uh, it's the eight month anniversary of my surgery this week. Um, had the surgery on January 8th, uh, and now we're looking at uh, second week of September. So it's been quite a ride. Um, the last video I think was two months ago. Uh, it was in early July. Um, sort of a status of where I am right now. Uh, I am stabilized finally, which is a good thing. Uh, I've been a little worried about how much I was actually going to go down to uh, and it looks like for the last month or two uh, I've been somewhere between 210 and 215 uh, which is 20 pounds lower than I really wanted to be at uh, 10 pounds lower than what my doctor had uh, suggested for me or my nutritionist had suggested for me um, but here I am and this is kind of where I want to keep the floor and I've been able to successfully use it as the floor for uh, two months so 210, 215 seems to be where I'm comfortable at. Um, I was down to 209 at one point. I uh, was up to 216 at one point, which is where I was, I think, in the last video. But since August, uh, middle of July, I've been in this five pound range and, and I'm good with that right now. That's, that's fine. Maybe a little bit low, but um, the doctor reminded me that I'm probably gonna be gaining some weight down the road, so probably better to have a little bit of a buffer on the low end uh, and not stress about it. Uh, that said, I did stress about it when I saw 215, so, you know, it is what it is. It's a head game right now, um, as it is for all of us at all times, and um, so that's kind of where I am. So that's down 89 uh, since the surgery today, I guess. Um, I'm 212 today. Uh, I'm down 135 or 136 uh, since the process for the gastric sleeve started. Uh, I'm down about 150, give or take, I guess 150 even, um, for my all-time high in 1999, uh, I've used the expression crazy numbers before, and I just, I have to say it again, it's a crazy number, 150 pounds down from my all-time high, uh, it's a person, basically, uh, that I'm not carrying around anymore, uh, amazing feeling, uh, and it's just been, uh, very, very good so far, great experience so far. Um, the videos I've done have apparently taken off. I'm getting more comments now every day than I ever imagined I would. Um, one of them has like 11,000 plus views. Uh, nuts. And, but I'm glad I'm helping people and the comments I'm getting in general are very positive. Uh, it's really been an uh, amazing experience to put this together on video and watch people react to it and know that you're making an impact in someone's life. Just like the videos I watched before I had the surgery had an impact on my life. So pay it forward, you know. So uh, I'm feeling great. Uh, really no complaints about anything. Uh, I had my six month appointment a few days after I filmed the last video in July. Um, doctor was not concerned about anything. All my vitals were fine. Uh, he did uh, have an interesting conversation with me about numbers. Uh, I mentioned to him that I was uh, at, you know, going down below what he gave me as a goal. And he said, I didn't give you a goal. And I said, well, of course you did. He says, no, I don't, I don't really believe in the goal. If you're healthy and you're eating, then um, that's the goal I want for you. Uh, and, and if you're exercising, that's the goal I want for you. The number is just a number you're going to chase in your head for the rest of your life. And I said, well, where do I get the idea of a number from? And he said, well, maybe, maybe the nutritionist gave you a number. He said, but uh, as a surgeon, all I want to hear is that you're eating well and you, that you're uh, exercising, and, and that's the goal. So it was a good way of thinking about it and uh, a little, um, you know, little zen way of thinking about weight loss, because it is true. Uh, the weight is really just a number. Uh, it's just, you know, your relationship with gravity, basically. And um, it's, you know, it's probably unhealthy to chase a number. And uh, I think all of us who are in this situation know what unhealthy thoughts are like. And it is what it is. Uh, I'm 210, 215. That's where I've been. That's where I am. That's probably where I'm going to stay. And you know what? If I start gaining... Um, I'm going to do my best not to think of it as anything other than a number, and we'll just aim for health. So speaking of health, I want to talk a little bit about exercise. Um, it's a key part of what I've been doing. It's a key thing that I attribute to my success. Um, I mentioned very early on that I really have never been an exercise fiend. Uh, I still don't think I am, um, but I'm finding that I enjoy exercise a lot more. At the last video, I just started the Couch to 5K program uh, to get myself up for running a 5K this fall. Uh, I completed that program, the nine-week program, two nights ago. Uh, I think I'm a runner. I Hard for me to even say that with a straight face, but I actually like running. 
Uh, I just did my first free run tonight, not using the Couch to 5K program. I did 2.7 miles, which I don't know what it comes out to in kilometers, uh, under five under 5K. 5K is 3.1 miles. That's what I'm going for. So it's a little bit under 5K. Uh, enjoyed it. Worked up a sweat, exhausted, burned hundreds of calories. Um, it's awesome. It's really awesome. Uh, you know, I'm a guy who, I mean, I never ran for anything. Running was the thing I hated the most in gym class growing up. I mean, I think the only thing I ever ran to was a buffet, you know, honestly, really. I mean, it's just not something that I, I ever aspired to do. But I find I like it. And you know why? Because um, there's nobody cheering you on. There's nobody booing. There's no work problems. There's no backstabbing. There's no spouse. There's no kids. There's no troubles. There's no car problems. There's no house problems. It's you. It's your sneakers, it's the pavement, uh, and it's whatever goal you put in your head. And um, for those of us who have the surgery, we got to be kind of goal-oriented, and, and it just fits really well for my lifestyle right now. Um, I actually enjoy running. There, I said on film. Uh, I'm going to have to look back at this film in the future when uh, I don't feel like going for a run. But right now, I'm kind of missing it when I don't, which I guess is a sign that I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, I've got a month to go before the race. Uh, I'm not to 3.1 miles yet. I'm 2.7 tonight. Uh, so I need to work up another, you know, third plus of a mile to get there. I don't have any doubt I'll do that, which is um, amazing to say because I never thought I'd be getting to this point. But 2.7 miles, ran it, loved it. So there you go. Uh, I think you have to have an exercise you like, even if it's getting out and walking. If it's the elliptical, I've seen some people say the elliptical is their thing. Awesome. That was for me, and it probably what will be for me in the winter time when it's too cold or icy to run. Uh, I'm tall and I'm an oaf, so I'm not planning on running in the ice that much because it's nothing good will come of that for anyone around me. Um, so I'll go back to the elliptical when it gets too cold to run, then I'll go back to running in the spring, hopefully. Well, hopefully that works. Uh, if you like rowing, row. If you like, you know, whatever. What, find something you enjoy doing because I, I really do think that I could not have lost this weight without exercise. I guess it's possible, just like it's possible we all could have lost 150 pounds on our own, right? And I think we all know what the odds of that are. Uh, and keeping it off anyway. So exercise to me has been key and uh, I would hope people would find some balance in their life to do some exercise themselves because I gotta tell you, not only am I losing the weight, but I feel great. I'm gonna be boastful here. I think I actually look okay. Than I, much better than I did before because of the exercise. It's toned me up a lot. Uh, I just feel healthier, feel like I have more energy. Uh, it's just a good thing. So eating, um, I'm pretty much able to eat whatever. I, I really don't have any restrictions per se on what I uh, can't tolerate. Things that I used to be able to not tolerate, like bread, um, are fine. Yeah, it's no big deal. I don't eat a lot of bread. I'm still more or less doing a low carb diet or a healthy carb diet. But uh, bread has been fine. Uh, apple peel I have not tried again, although it's fall. We'll be apple picking soon and I'll try apple peel again, but no real reason to. I mean, it doesn't give you anything really. and. Uh, uh, I'll peel the apples, but I'll give it a try and see if it bothers me. But honestly, I'm, I'm released into the wild here for all intents and purposes. I can eat whatever um, without really any consequence, which is sort of the dangerous point, because I said without any consequence, probably not the right way to say it. Um, you know, the emotional part of eating is there in full force. Um, when I'm having a bad day, my thoughts go to food. Just like they had before, and just like they do for most people watching this, I suspect. Um, it's a mental battle every single day. This is not the easy way out. Okay, the, the same fights that we've all fought our entire life are still there. You have a tool and you can use the tool, but if you think this is going to solve uh, your emotional issues with food, you're sadly mistaken. Um, I have to struggle with this every single day of my life and uh, the emotional side is definitely there in force if I let it be. Uh, the running, I think, is making me realize that if I eat this, I've got to work this off in the run. Uh, so that's really helping me. But um, be prepared for that emotional monster to come back and be on your back. The monkey never leaves your back. The only easy day was yesterday. You really have to conquer the head uh, because uh, it's not just your body doing this. So that's where I am right now. Um, everything is great. Uh, I'm looking forward to my 10 month uh, check in, I guess, on video. I'll do it every other month, I guess, at this point. Um, and uh, one year, January 8th, like sort of my second birthday, I guess, right? Uh, 
Hope everyone's doing well. I really appreciated the comments. Uh, I, I apologize I can't respond to things as quickly as I might have been able to when I wasn't at 11,000 or 12,000 views, but I'm just getting too much email and I have a life outside. Hard to believe. Um, but that's where things are. So things are great. Hope everyone is doing okay in their journey. It's what it is. It's a journey. And uh, we'll check in as we need to. And uh, for right now, keep rocking it, folks. This is a, a, a good thing for you to consider and do. Um, you know, I hear from some people saying they talk themselves out of it. Everyone's got to deal with this on their own. Everyone's got to come up with their own answers for this problem. But for this, this guy, th this has been the best decision I think I've ever made. And um, don't regret it for a minute. Simple as that. So take care. Keep being healthy. Get out there and exercise. And uh, watch what you're eating. Live life with this new body that uh, you're going to get from this surgery. And enjoy every minute because uh, nothing is guaranteed in this world. So... Take advantage of the opportunity that this surgery has given you. Take care. Bye.